Now, this is just one example that has people wondering if we will ever reach herd immunity. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains why experts say it might not be possible. Not since World War II have we been called to come together to protect humanity's future. It's the 21st century version of the war effort, only this time against a viral enemy. We know the vaccines work, but there are some variables that may inhibit us reaching herd immunity. We need at least 200 million Americans vaccinated to hit the herd. But a Kaiser Family Foundation survey found 37% either won't or are still hesitant. That number doesn't take unvaccinated kids into account. We know the vaccines are effective against the predominant UK variant, but there are other mutations developing that could potentially be vaccine resistant. Experts are telling us we'll likely need vaccine boosters in the next few months, meaning protection will eventually wane, even protection from natural infection. But here's another thing we know. The virus is still dangerous. According to the CDC, 20% of unvaccinated people who've tested positive for COVID-19 will end up with severe disease. 5% will end up in intensive care and nearly 2% will die. We're seeing younger patients, sicker, and more patients coming in. It really breaks my heart every time I put one of them on a breathing machine and something that would be preventable if they had the vaccine. Almost every single person I saw last week did not have the vaccine. Dr. Tweek is more optimistic, saying the vaccine is the best way to get this virus under control and get us back to normal. If 70% or more of the population is vaccinated, even if 30% cannot for whatever reason, they'll still be protected as well. And so I feel it's very important for anybody who can get vaccinated to get their vaccine. Another issue in the way of getting the virus under control is the fact that fewer people are being tested. This week, an FDA-approved rapid test is now being sold over the counter at CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart and can be used on children as young as two. Monica Robbins, 3 News.